Guys, so so good. people bella roba dio bono welcome to another episode of the life of Hyundai. guys we had just woke up into the tent you cannot see i actually slept like really well Dennis, you sleep good yeah i slept really well this is my friend dennis guys if you don't know me my name's andy altig and if you aren't subscribed to the La Familia, just hit the subscribe button right now. But guys, we have a crazy adventure set up for today. We're on a road trip going all the way to LA. We are in Ashland, Oregon. Last night we uploaded all the footage that we shot on our computer at Southern Oregon University. I think we need to roll some sort of like drone shot just to give them some respect. <laughs> Guys, we need to pick up our computer from Mallory. She was a trooper. She let us do the internet there. We gotta get some coffee. We gotta get some flowers. People, we have an action-packed day today, so thank goodness. We're gonna be driving down to San Jose today, guys, but we're gonna stop at some cool cities. We're gonna stop in Weed. We're gonna stop in Mount Shasta. Why are we stopping in Weed? Why are we stopping in Mount Shasta? We're stopping there, baby, because that's the word of my family. First, I immigrated from Italy. Stop there. We might even take a shower there. I don't even know what the day has in store, but let's go do that thing. Good morning, America! A few moments later. Guys, we're in the grocery store right now. We're trying to find some flowers for my girl Mallory. I think roses. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. When people help us out, we help them out. Actually, I mean, we're just by the we're just by the flowers. Here, look at these ones. Yeah, that's a winner. All right, Dennis. I think we need to get her a balloon, dude. That balloon right there looks very beautiful. Oh yeah. It just looks happy. It just says happiness to me. You got it? Go, Dennis, go. Go, Dennis, go. Bring her down. Uh, Dennis, are you good, bro? Happy. We're gonna surprise her, guys. It's gonna be a big surprise. It's her big day. It's a big day. It's a big day, big day, big day. When you get flowers, it's always a big day. Let's see if we can just get in. Yes! Mallory! <laughs> we, got, we got you some flowers. <laughs> it's your big day! It's a big day! It's a big day! Good morning! Oh my gosh! <laughs> and we got you a balloon. Look at Dennis got you this balloon. Super cool. Just wants you to be happy. Oh yeah, she loves it. She loves it. Mallory hooked us up with the internet. You know, we got things here to break. We gotta down. hook her up with some flowers and balloons, you know what I mean? Come on! One hour later. We're still at the university, people. I feel like I'm already going to school here now, okay? Santa Maria, upload the files, baby. Come on, we're still here. We're stuck. We cannot leave. How long do we have? 16 minutes. Oh, baby. Alright, guys, so finally, I'm able to leave. Southern Oregon University and I come outside and on my car is this parking ticket really oh. I think they just saw the wallet I don't know if you can see that I think they just saw the money in there and they're like oh yeah we're gonna ride him a nice ticket but you know what I guess what I used their internet I slept in their parking lot so you know it's all good write me up a ticket Southern Oregon University um, because I definitely uh, got my $40 worth <laughs> Dude, let's get out of here. Let's go. Dude, calm down, Dennis. Let's calm down. Go. Dennis, Dennis, calm. Get me out of Southern Oregon. We are going, people, to Weed, 
California. No, not not that type of weed. It's actually weed, California, where my family immigrated to when they came over from Italy. So let's go. Grandfather Romano's shoe store back in the 1900s. Uh, it's a little bit windy, sorry about the sound, but let's go check it out. Guys, so right now, this is the town where my family, when they first came over from Italy, they immigrated to back in the early 1900s. My uh, grandfather Romano, Giuseppina, Louis, they all immigrated here to Weed and Mount Shasta and they worked in the town. This right here that I'm touching was my grandfather and my grandmother's shoe repair store. It says on the side, our Pastega shoe repair, uh, where they would actually repair the shoes by hand. He learned how to do it in Italy and when he came over, that was what he knew how to do, so he opened a store. But it's so cool to like be here, like in the same town that my family originally came to, lived in, worked in, um, had a business in. Um, you know, back when Italians uh, immigrated into the U.S. in those times, it was really, really tough in Italy, and um, Italians were really, really discriminated against. Um, like, in the town of Mount Shasta in McLeod, the town of McLeod close to Mount Shasta, they used to not even, they had a sign, they put up a big sign that said, no Italians allowed, inside the town. And like, a lot of people don't realize that because everybody thinks Italians are fun and good cooks and all this stuff. Um, and Really they are, but um, back in those times, you know, they, they were the immigrants and they were the ones who were um, discriminated against and I've never had anybody, I've never experienced discrimination really myself personally towards me. Um, I can't imagine what it's like. I've heard so many different stories from uh, my aunt and my grandparents, but uh, this is the reason why I talk in Italian. This is the reason why I wanted to learn Italian was because of this, these people here, my nonno, my nonna, um, because of what they did and the legacy they led. And uh, one of the reasons why, uh, one of the things that I, I, I actually never spoke Italian, like, until about like five years ago. And uh, one of the reasons why I didn't speak Italian was because they were so discriminated against that my grandparents never wanted to teach their kids the language of the country that they were from because they were worried that they want to become Americanized. Um, and so I worked really, really hard. I studied abroad in Italy. I lived with the family in Calabria. I go back and forth all the time. I have a family place there. Um, and But I really wanted to learn Italian and I wanted to bring back our culture to our family so I could teach my kids and generations to come. But this is just really cool to be here. Um, the place where my grand, my great grandparents first planted their feet. My grandmother Giuseppina, when she came off the boat from Ellis Island, she kissed the ground because she was so excited for a new life and a new opportunity. And um, my family in Italy, when they first came over, they grew up really, really poor. Um, during the depression, during some of the hardest times in America, um, I can't imagine. I just can't imagine like what it would be like to come to a new country, not know anybody, not have any jobs, not have anything, and plant your life here and start a new life. And I'm so glad that they did They did do that because I'm the person I am today, and I'm here today because of them and what they did for generations to come. And on the side of the building, it's, it says, Levi Strauss, if you rip them, we'll give you a new pair. That'd be cool if they still did that today. So Dennis and I found this like barbecue place on the side of the road. Look it at looks this. amazing. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> looks so good. Dude. Oh, I smell that. So 
were at the city hall of Mount Shasta. This actually used to be the bank of Mount Shasta and they turned it into the city hall, but my grandfather, Louis, Luigi, um, which I'm actually, my middle name is Louis. My grandfather, Louis, started this bank, the bank of Mount Shasta, the first bank in the town, um, with a guy named A.P. Giannini. Now, A.P. Giannini, he was the man who started Bank of America, but it used to not be called Bank of America, it actually used to be called the Bank of Italy. And he used to go around all of the United States helping Italians open up banks. And um, my grandfather, when he first came to Mount Shasta, started out as a logger um, and didn't really like that, but he learned how to bake, not bank, he learned how to bake in Marseille, France. Um, and he used to go around the, each town and city selling his bread. And Italians were really, really discriminated against back in the day. And in the town of McLeod, they actually put up a fence and had a sign that said no Italians allowed um, but you know baby he was so smart that uh, he was able to climb the fence and sell his bread throughout the whole town then he ended up starting his own department store which is right across the street over here and eh, right across the street over here it was a hotel and then he ended up opening up the first bank of Mount Shasta which is now the city hall of Mount Shasta which is pretty cool all the th amazing things that he was able to do um, throughout his life and from starting from zero coming to this country to then opening up a bank opening up a department store and um, Being a and being a huge impact within the town. So I just wanted to show you guys this. This is where my roots are This is really cool to come back here stop by really quick um, and show you a little bit of family history I hope you guys like the history so far, but uh, let's keep the journey rolling. The Fiat is still hanging on strong, guys. She's still gone. She's still going, baby. She's hanging on there. Cinquecento. Ooh. Perfect. All right, people, we are here at the Healing Waters. No, actually, it's supposedly the start of the Sacramento River is right here. It comes right out of the, literally right out of the walk, rocks, guys. It's crazy. Look at this. This is where it all starts, is at this point. It just literally comes out of the ground, people. And apparently, the water here is as fresh as can be. It's the most purified, it's the, the most beautiful, it's the best of the best. People come from miles and miles just to fill up their water. This is where they get their drinking water because it's the purest, baby. It's 100% the pure. And since we're all 70% water, well, I guess I'm going to have to try a little sampling, yes? <laughs> Almost fell. Guys, I'm not like a midstream type of person, you know, I don't go half river, you know, side river, like, not right there, not in there. I go from the birthing. I go from the very start. The freshest. Yeah. Narnia. For Narnia! Oh my gosh. It's so good. It's so cold. It's so beautiful. It's a magic. It's so fresh. Spring water emerging here fell as precipitation on Mount Shasta more than 50 years ago. That means the water that I was just drinking is like 50 years old. Whoa. But we have to continue the journey, so andiamo. Sunday, we're back. Dennis! But guys, we are headed to San Jose, California! And we have a big day in store for you tomorrow, but my man Dennis over here. Dude, Dennis, do you realize, okay, so we're almost, we're 40 minutes out, but dude, do you realize that you just shaved off like 10 minutes? Dude, that doesn't even make sense. I haven't like gone over 60 and like these cars are flying past me. Dude, you're just you're just a beast. <laughs> Dude, I'm terrified. 512 past us. Hey buddy. Well, it's one thing to like drive to like LA in like a regular car. But to drive to LA in a Jeep pulling a Cinquecento, which the you all we weren't even supposed to pull. You all my boy's a beast, my boy's a savage over here. You guys, these roads in California, California, just pave your roads. Like, just pave them. How hard is it to 
the ground to be flat! Make it flat, people! I've never gone this far. Guys, this is the furthest I've gone in an automobile from Washington all the way down to California. Like, this is uncharted charter territory right now. Dude, is it get like this? Like, the whole... Dude, it gets worse. The highway in LA, the highway going through the valley, is like, the, they're literally the worst roads in the country. Don't even know what to say. Get ready. So let's keep on trucking, people. <laughs> All right, guys, we arrived. We did made it. So Man, we're just waiting for Mark right now. I don't know where he is, my friend Mark. We're camping <sighs> outside of his house right now, people. I don't know where he is. Maybe we, we got in the wrong place. But... Marky Mark. Yeah, let's go meet Mark. <laughs> 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 well, guys, we started in the tent. And then we're gonna finish in the tent. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the day. We had a really fun time going through the mountains, going to Mount Shasta, where my family's from. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, join La Familia. And uh, I forgot to tell you guys, but uh, Dennis over here was supposed to go back to Seattle in about two hours. He was like, oh, well, I'm thinking about like, you know, interviewing at a job. So, oh. I think I'll stay. So now he's staying. You gotta do what you gotta do. This guy over here. <laughs> Dude, this gypsy. I love you. This guy. We had a whole conversation, a whole argument about hey, you should stay longer, you should do all this, and then like, man, get him at like 1 30. That's how you close him. Dude, easy. 1 30. <laughs> we have to go to bed, people, because uh, we have a huge morning planned. This is day three of tent life. The life of Andy. Guys, join the life of Andy. Because, uh, because you should. <laughs> Peace.